hi everyone the topic that we are going to cover in this uh, lecture is expression trees so uh, the thing that you need to know about the expression trees are that these are the kind of binary trees that are uh, having at max two children and minimum zero child at uh, in particular node so one thing uh, we must be very very clear about expression trees is that expression trees are basically uh, kind of you can say binary trees so and uh, it has some functionality or feature that makes it different from binary tree which we will discuss in a few minutes so one thing we should know that these are the expression trees are basically the kind of binary tree having specialized features so what are these specialized features these are that if we have any uh, you can say given uh, expression mathematical expression or any equation we can express it in the form of you can say expression tree in the form of tree uh, binary tree so uh, how we express an equation in the term of binary tree we will see in this lecture okay so there are certain rules as we know binary tree may have if i give you an example binary tree is uh, a tree having certain root and few number of children at any no particular node it may have two children maybe one children or no child as well so this is basically binary tree now we will look into the detail that how uh, expression trees fit into this particular category so there are certain rules for that when we talk about the expression trees um, one number rule number uh, one is that every operand since we know the expression uh, is basically composing of or comprising of different mathematical operators like for example a plus b minus c now you can see this is very pretty basic simple expression but it is having two different kind of operators plus and minus and a b and c are operands so if i write it over here so i can say that this is operand and these are operators that perform a uh, certain uh, type of or certain functionality or certain uh, you can say task on the given tree so uh, how we are going to express this type of expression on expression tree is uh, it has got like two rules all the operators plus minus power division subtraction addition multiplication will come on intermediate nodes the nodes that are uh, having at least one child and all the operands like a b c they will come at the leave nodes that is on the nodes that are having zero children so now we will see how we are going to enforce this type of structure on you can say using uh, expression tree so for that purpose let's consider an uh, expression mathematical expression so i'll write one expression for you and we will uh, convert it in the form of expression tree or uh, convert it in expression tree so the equation uh, let's say i'm um, taking for example is 3 plus 4 keep power 15 multiply by 6 minus let's say 14 divided by 3 plus 65 multiply by 5 now uh, first thing is before going for which operation or which operator or operand should be placed at where we should determine the root of the tree because as we know root is always the you can say starting uh, of starting node of any tree like here if i may point it out so this is the root of this given uh, you can say binary tree so we have to determine what is the root of uh, this expression tree so for finding the root of any expression tree we have to basically um, see that what is uh, or which is basically not what which is the particular operation that is performed in the end or which is the last operation that is uh, going to be you can say the last operation of this equation or that will be evaluated in the end so in this given expression you can see that this parenthesis specifies the operation okay so here this will be performed as a priority and after this we four uh, we, the answer we get we take the power of four with that answer and then add three on it so this operation will be evaluated first then subtracted from this particular operation since we know mathematic rule states p d m a s that is p 
precedence of power is greater than division and the precedence of division is greater than multiplication and addition is greater than the subtraction in mathematics we usually consider these two as you can say uh, the operators of equal precedence okay so here you can see division uh, we have found division and division uh, precedence of division is less uh, greater as compared to minus so this operation will be performed first then this subtraction similarly the precedence uh, precedence of multiplication is greater than addition so this operation will be performed before this you can say addition okay now we have seen that first of all we will evaluate this then this then this and in the end we will either take addition or subtraction operation since we are aware of the fact that in mass addition and subtraction uh, are having equal precedence so we can consider any one of them as the last operation that will be performed on this given or that that you will perform in the end in order to find the answer of this given particular equation so uh, by looking at this e expression i can say that number one this minus and number two this plus these both are my potential root nodes so i can take any one of them as my uh, you can say root node or consider them as a uh, uh, valid root okay so uh, after deciding the root node let's say i have considered this minus as my root node i'll draw it uh, or i'll structure a graph over here so let's say this minus is my root node i have drawn a single uh, root node of this given expression tree of, of this given tree now since we know this operators minus plus multiply divide or power they are binary operators which means they need two operands in order to perform a task so it means you can see this is one and this is two so we have like two children for this particular node so i'll draw it like this one child and two two child okay so now uh, i'll uh, write it over here that uh, what are the values of you can say this children or this child uh, child note over here so uh, on the this side i have got 3 plus 4 power 15 multiply by 6 and on this side i have got 14 divided by 3 plus 65 multiply by 5 okay now what i do is after splitting it like this i again perform the same operation that i did over here i will try to figure out the operation or uh, the uh, operator that will be evaluated in the end or the last one so you can see this is here this addition so i write this addition over here because once i have taken the power of four with uh, uh, this much power then uh, i would be able to add it into the three so here you have seen that again uh, plus as my root node and i'll uh, split it or uh, i have got two subtrees when it comes to the power node or uh, plus node okay so left subtree contains only one element that is this one three and on right side i have got four power 15 multiply by six okay since we know that here only there is a single operand left there is no further operation to be performed here so um, here i'll just write three inside this particular uh, node because uh, this is the operand and operand is always comes in the leaf node again here what is the last operation that we will perform which is power and 4 and 15 multiplied by 2 since it's just a binary operator so i have got two child nodes like this and here i have got 4 and here i have got 15 multiplied by 6 again this is the 4 which is not accompanied by any operator so 4 will come in this inside this particular leaf node and here this multiplication is the last operate, uh, operation that will be performed on two nodes so you can see that i have got two uh, operates on which this particular operation will be performed that is 15 and 6 so this left subtree of my this particular expression tree is now completed okay I will do the same procedure or the same steps on the right side of the tree. First of all, I will identify which operation will be performed in the end. So multiplication has greater precedence than addition and subtract, uh, division has also greater precedence than this uh, addition. So addition will come inside here. And since this is also a binary operation, so this will be divided into two parts. So the left uh, side of the tree contains 14 divided by 3 and right side of the tree contains 65 multiplied by 5. 
ओके अगेन आई रिपीट द सेम स्टेप एट ईच एंड एवरी लेवल और आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी यू कैन से स्प्लटिंग और आफ्टर ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप सो हेयर द लास्ट ऑपरेशन इज डिवीजन एंड आफ्टर परफॉर्मिंग डिवीजन अगेन दिस इज अ बाइनरी ऑपरेटर सो आई हैव कम विद द टू चाइल्ड ऑफ एड सो हेयर आई हैव गॉट फोर्टीन एंड हेयर आई हैव गॉट थ्री सिंस यू नो ऑन बोथ साइड दे इज नो फर्दर ऑपरेटर सो आई राइट दैम इन साइड द लीव नोट्स similarly over here the last operation is multiplication and i have got no further you can say uh, operations going on here it is 65 and on this side it is 5 so i'll write them inside the leave notes okay now you have seen that all the operators minus plus power multiply divide plus uh, multiplication are on the intermediate nodes Uh, what are the intermediate nodes intermediate nodes are those nodes that are having at least one child so here you can see all of these nodes are having two children since uh, these mathematical operators power division multiplication addition and subtraction are binary trees so at every level when we are using these operators we are always accompanied by two children like here like here you can see any at any point particular point you can see that there uh, this has been accompanied with uh, two children okay so this is uh, this diagram represents the uh, our expression trees and uh, uh, just be very very careful about it it is very very easy to implement but sometimes we make a mistake that is we write operands in the place of operators that is we write operands in inside these circles or intermediate node in any if you take any expression tree operands can never ever be a part of any intermediate node just keep this thing in your mind operator can never ever come on these leave nodes and operand can never ever take the place on any intermediate nodes always you can see that this last leave node have all the operands that will uh, be uh, you can say part of uh, your given particular uh, expression okay ji so uh, this is the final expression tree and uh, this is how we converted an expression to uh, a particular expression tree okay what are the, uh, the thing that comes in our mind is we have drawn the expression tree but what is the significance of this expression tree so uh, we use this expression tree to uh, you can say convert mathematical expression to from infix to prefix or postfix notations okay so uh, these expression trees help us in conversion of you can say infix to prefix and postfix notations by using pre order in order and post order traversal techniques or algorithm on by applying those algorithm on the tree so if uh, let's say we try to convert it into the particular that particular form or notation we have to follow that algorithm and uh, what that algorithm states is uh, i usually uh, explain this my student as if you have to convert or figure out the what uh, is the infix notation of the given tree so you have to uh, do the in order traversal in order traversal and for that i make uh, you should remember three words left print and right similarly if you want to convert this uh, or you want to identify the uh, postfix notation from the given uh, tree so you write uh, apply basically post order traversal traversal on the given binary tree since this is the binary tree so these traversal work very very fine so for post traversal you have to write print left and r similarly if you want to fetch pre order or prefix notation or from the given you can say tree so you have to perform pre order traversal that is oh sorry my bad this is r this is print okay for pre order we will perform print then left and then right for post order we will perform right left and then print uh, because post order uh, you can map it like this pre order means pre means something that come before so we uh, write print 
as the first operation or visiting node as the first operation then left visiting left subtree and then visiting right subtree similarly on um, post order we will do the print operation in the last and for in order we will do print operation in the intermediate node so what is the basically um, for uh, for those of you who are still confused about these traversals uh, there is an algorithm for example i'll discuss this one case so for in order traversal the algorithm states let's say for in order traversal we will identify that if we have passed a particular node n so uh, if first condition is if our node is not null or if our node is not equal to null what we do is we will call this function again in order traversal on the you can say left child of the given node then visit the node this visit can be any operation in my case i'll taking it as a print operation and then we will visit in order we will call this function recur recursively on the you can say right subtree so here uh, if when this loop uh, or if loop terminates or we come out of the if loop we will just return the uh, this function will return itself or the uh, all the nodes that are being the part of the tree have been returned okay so this is basically code for in order traversal for post order traversal what we do is we basically bring this visit over here and we basically swap these two line these two lines in order traversal and on left then in order traversal and on right and then visit node similarly for pre order traversal we will take this visit on the top and we will swap these two line of codes and we will uh, visit node here and we will call the same function recursively on the left subtree of the given node and then on the right subtree of the given particular node okay ji so by using this uh, algorithm we will convert any uh, expression uh, or we visit any expression and convert the given expression to any form either it's, it's infix form it's prefix form or postfix post form uh, to have an uh, you can say better understanding of this uh, try to implement this code or try to call this code recursively and dry run on the given uh, tree that will make you a better understanding of it uh, there is another lecture uh, on this same playlist uh, under the you can say title of infix to prefix or postfix conversion using expression trees that basically give you an idea that how we recursively call uh, any function or how we implement the, this code on the given expression tree and convert a particular expression to from infix to postfix or prefix or you can even if you are given with the tree you can find the infix notation of the particular tree as well okay gee, that's it for today's lecture if you have any curio any confusion uh, please do mention it in the comment section and i'll be happy to help you out and thanks for watching uh, if possible, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.